organic chemistry as tested in 2023 KCSE chemistry paper 2 question number 2 part A the candidates were asked to complete the equation in which calcium carbide in solid state is reacting with water now you realize this is the equation for the reaction that is normally used to prepare the first member of the alkyne family the name is ethyne so for this equation calcium carbide in solid state would react with water in liquid state and then we obtain the first member of the alkyne family which we call ethyne ch ch or a candidate would actually combine this to c2h2 this is usually a gas and we produce calcium hydroxide as well which can be aqueous or solid now to balance this equation we need a two on water and of course before we move to the next question this is an equation that involves organic substances so state symbols would be ignored as well now let's move to part b the examiner talked of pent one iron but when it comes to the structure of the same we were given a structure here that was chemically misleading it was chemically misleading in the sense that the structure that has been drawn here could not be named especially if you look at carbon number three from the left the covalent bonds that were attached to it were six while in real sense we know that carbon can only form a maximum of four covalent bonds either with itself or with atoms of other elements so the structure given here was totally misleading to the candidates now the examiner went ahead to inform the candidates that whatever is here reacts with bromine to form compound b and c as shown in figure one so the question talked of pent one iron reacting with bromine to give b which reacts with more bromine to give c in terms of questioning for question two part b the examiner now expected the candidates to draw the structures of b and c but remember the structure that was drawn was chemically misleading so for this part it was only fair that the whole of question b was dismissed because of the wrong structure that was drawn so it is dismissed and these two marks redistributed to other questions within question two and that leads us now to question two part c so in question two part c we were told to study the flow chart in figure two and then use it to answer the questions that would follow as usual we always encourage our learners to study the scheme in totality before starting to answer the questions so let's go ahead and do a thorough study of the scheme so we are beginning with a thin right here to the left we have step one where we form polyethene so step one is polymerization process and of course the conditions necessary for polymerization to occur include high temperature and high pressure moving down we have step two from ethene to ethene and here 
As we know, the process involved in step two would be called addition reaction, but specifically hydrogenation, where we need hydrogen gas and some nickel catalyst together with temperatures of between 150 to 250 degrees Celsius. To the right, we meet step three, where we obtain ethanol from ethene. This is the process that is usually called hydrolysis, where we react ethene with water, but in presence of concentrated sulfuric 6 acid. We can also use phosphoric 5 acid, but the water must be in the form of steam. So we move on to step 4. In step 4, we actually oxidize ethanol to ethanoic acid. Here, we use our two common oxidizing agents, acidified potassium manganate 7 or acidified potassium dichromate 6. Then we can see here, for step 6, ethanol reacting with ethanoic acid. These two usually form esters. The ester formed here as substance D would be called ethyl ethanoate because we are obtaining it from ethanol and ethanoic acid. To step 6, we are obtaining sodium ethanoate from ethanoic acid. So here, we can introduce an alkali, sodium hydroxide, to give that salt, or we can use sodium as a metal with the acid to give us the salt sodium ethanoate. From sodium ethanoate, we obtain methane in step 7. So what is missing here is soda lime. Don't forget soda lime is a mixture of sodium hydroxide and calcium oxide. Dear candidates, we've now studied our scheme very well. We are now ready to go ahead and answer our questions. Roman 1, part 1. We were told to give the reagents and conditions that are used in step 2. Taking us back to step 2, we can see this is a situation where we obtain an alkene from an alkene. So re the reagent can only be hydrogen gas. Then, when it comes to conditions, a candidate would choose the two, any one of these two. Temperature would range between 150 to 250 degrees Celsius. Then, of course, we have nickel catalyst. Instead of nickel, palladium will also work as a catalyst and even platinum. So, question 2b was dismissed. So here, instead of one mark, we awarded two for the reagent one and any of these two conditions for the next one. We are now moving on to give reagents and conditions necessary for step seven. Step seven, we have methane being obtained from sodium ethanoate. And of course, before we answer the question, we know that we shall heat a mixture of sodium ethanoate and soda lime to obtain methane. So for step seven, the reagent, as we have said, would be soda lime. Here, a candidate would have the option of giving us the components of soda lime, sodium hydroxide and calcium oxide. And here, we would not give any mark for a candidate who only mentions sodium hydroxide. Soda lime is a mixture of the two. And then, of course, the condition is heat. The second mark that was dismissed from question 2, part B, was again redistributed here. So instead of one mark, 
we awarded two marks for this section. The reagent one, condition one. Moving on to Roman two of part C. We were asked to write an equation for the reaction that takes place in step one and in step three. Step one is where we are carrying out polymerization on a thin. So the equation would be N molecules of our monomer ethene being undertaken through polymerization process to give a long chain polymer that is called polyethene. So the equation would be as follows. Of course, N outside the bracket. This would be worth one mark to step three. In step three, we are obtaining ethanol from ethene. And as we have discussed earlier, this is hydrolysis, where we react ethene with water in presence of concentrated sulfuric six acid. So the equation would be ethene C2H4 reacting with water, of course, in presence of concentrated sulfuric 6 acid and then we obtain ethanol c2 h5 oh one mark this would not be awarded unless we see presence of concentrated sulfuric 6 acid and again in the discussions we have agreed that phosphoric 5 acid can also do the work only that this water here must come in form of steam moving on to roman 3 we were asked to name the type of reaction that takes place in step 4 and in step 2 step 4 is ethanol giving us ethanoic acid so this is one of the addition reactions that were discussed in form 3 but the examiner needed the particular name for the addition process so ethanol to ethanoic acid is usually oxidation then step 2 we also have another addition reaction where we have alkane being obtained from an alkene. So both step two and four are actually addition reactions. But for purposes of answering our question, Roman three, the examiner demanded the particular type of addition reaction in question. So step four would be oxidation and step two would be hydrogenation. So here we go, step four, the reaction would be oxidation, not addition reaction for one mark. And step two is hydrogenation, again for one mark. We have explained that the two actually are types of addition reaction, but for purposes of this question, the examiner was interested in the particular type of addition reaction that is there. Next question asked us to draw the structure of D. As we can see, D is the ester that is formed when ethanol is reacted with ethanoic acid. So it is actually ethyl ethanoate. Ethyl ethanoate has the following structure. then the rest of the carbons would be bonded to hydrogens. Now this would be the structure of ethyl ethanoate. And because we are told to draw the structure, we didn't accept the condensed form. Finally, the examiner asked us to name compound D. And as we have said earlier, this is an ester with the name ethyl 
ethanoates because it is obtained from ethanol and ethanoic acid. One mark for the structure and one mark for the name. And that is how organic chemistry was tested in the year 2023, KCSE Chemistry Paper 2. Keep it right here for more of such reviews.